Did you know that fires are the third leading cause of home fatalities? Most of us protect ourselves and our families by following a few basic fire safety tips. Never leave food cooking unattended, dispose of smoking materials safely, and check smoke alarms regularly. Despite these precautions, fires still occur, killing almost 2,800 people per year, injuring more than 13,000, and causing billions of damage in property loss. The best solution to solving this problem is to fit your home with fire sprinklers. Fire sprinklers are heat activated and they work independently of each other. Should a fire start in your kitchen, only the closest sprinkler head will activate. Adjoining rooms will not be affected. Sprinklers work by preventing a small fire from spreading into a large house fire. Your Cape Girardeau Fire Department conducted a live public display that included two houses. Note that the homes had the same layout and include similar furnishings from the beds, couches, and furniture to the knickknacks, books, and toys. A small fire was lit in each home to simulate the start of a home fire. Just as in real life, if you were asleep or away at work, the fire department was not notified until alarms sounded or flames were visible. While Cape Girardeau firefighters are on the scene within four minutes from dispatch, rural and volunteer departments often take longer. A fire can be burning for 10 minutes or more before help can arrive. By the time firefighters arrived on scene, the house without sprinklers was destroyed. The house with sprinklers survived. Only the floor was wet and the couch and nearby carpet burned. If someone was in the home without sprinklers, they would have been in serious jeopardy of fatal injury. All of their belongings are gone, family photos, electronic documents, beloved toys, everything gone. By the time a smoke detector wakes you, the smoke itself might be thick enough to kill you. If you are ever in this situation, remember, stay low. First, a small fire is set in a wastebasket. Both fires will develop equally. It may seem slow as you watch, but imagine if you were asleep in another room outside or away from home. Heat, gas, and smoke will soon start to build at the ceiling. You will see as time passes through the video how these dangerous elements will bank down and fill the room. This is why it is so important to stay low when escaping from a fire. Coming up at 35 seconds, the smoke alarm will sound. Like in this demonstration, this is the earliest someone would likely call 911 and the fire department could respond. While a municipal fire department will often arrive within four to six minutes, rural and volunteer departments can take longer. Unlike sprinklers, these smoke alarms give an early warning, but do nothing to control the fire. In the right frame, you will see a firefighter step in, but keep your eyes on the left frame. Approaching one minute, 10 seconds, you will see a single sprinkler head activated by heat start controlling the fire. In reality, the fire department would not arrive at this home for another four minutes. When he arrives, he will have the duct to protect himself against the intense 800 degree heat, even in his protective gear. The single sprinkler head activation in the left frame is suppressed in this fire, thus limiting the noxious gases. In the right frame, you can see that the couch and the floor have become so hot that they are off-gassing. This means the materials are emitting toxic combustible gases getting ready to ignite. With no sprinkler installed and the fire department still rushing to the scene, the fire in the right frame is spreading rapidly and you can see the smoke and combustible gases getting thicker at the ceiling and building towards the floor. The room will be completely black despite the intense flames in little more than two minutes from when the fire began. The blinding poisonous smoke is now at floor level in the home on the right. No one in this home would survive the toxicity of the smoke or the heat of the fire. Unfortunately, most fire departments would still be en route to this fire. The home on the left, saved by one sprinkler, would be very little threat to its residents. Firefighters are on the scene to the sprinklered home within six minutes. When they arrive to shut off the sprinkler head, 
it is applying 16 gallons per minute. So only 150 gallons were used to control the fire. Unlike Hollywood movies where all sprinklers activate, only one sprinkler head activated to control the fire. The rest of the house was dry. In the non-sprinklered home, the fire hoses shoot 180 gallons per minute. It took over 850 gallons just to control the fire. Many people think sprinklers are too expensive or too ugly to install in their home. In reality, sprinklers add very little to the overall cost of the home, roughly 1%. If you're building a new home, adding sprinklers would cost less than $5 per month for the life of your loan. For the price of your countertops, carpeting, or lawn sprinklers, you can afford to protect your family from a devastating fire by having residential fire sprinklers installed. If you're building a new home or planning a major renovation in your existing home, please consider installing fire sprinklers. They have proven so effective, they are recommended in all major model residential building codes. For more information on fire sprinklers, please call the Cape Girada Fire Department at 573-339-6320 or visit us on the website at www.cityofcapegirado.org.